Hello gardeners. Today I will tell you how to propagate strawberries and at the same time get a bountiful harvest. Strawberries can be propagated depending on the variety in two ways. The first method is the most common, strawberries that produce a runner on which a daughter plant is formed, in fact, they reproduce. And there is a strawberry that does not give a daughter plant. It reproduces by dividing the strawberry plant in the fall, after harvest. In this video I will tell you how to properly propagate strawberries using a daughter plant, and I will tell you about the second method in the fall, so subscribe to my channel so as not to miss this video. It would seem that it is difficult to reproduce by a daughter plant. It will find a place for itself somewhere, rest against the soil and germinate. But if you grow like me on mulch, or if you have the soil under the strawberries covered with a film, then the daughter plant will not be able to take root. And also if your strawberry plant has released 8 or even 10 runners with daughter plants and decide to leave them all, then you will get a poor harvest, because the plant will give all its strength to the formation of offspring to the detriment of the harvest. Let's talk about everything in order. On your screen you see strawberry plants that produce a crop, they were planted this year with seedlings. I immediately mulched them and installed drip irrigation and fed them well. All the top dressing that I spent this year is on the channel in the strawberry playlist come in look i propagate it as follows next to the strawberry plant from which i will take seedlings i dig a hole as deep as a cup you can use cut plastic bottles and from one plant you can take no more than two seedlings then the strawberry plant will develop well and give a bountiful harvest and we cut the rest of the runners with daughter plants with scissors also look at each runner except for one daughter plant there is another second one that will be weaker but you can also get a seedling from it but again, this will be a big load on the strawberry plant. Therefore, it also needs to be cut. Then in cups I fall asleep the usual soil, in fact, the one that I dug out from my garden. It should be moist and I bury the daughter plant quite a bit into the soil of the cup, there is a small root there. Just don't push the daughter plant too deep, it will rot. Then I water well, like cups, also the soil nearby so that it is moist everywhere. I immediately answer the question why the cups simply cannot be placed on top, but you need to dig them in. The cups have a small volume and therefore, in the heat, the soil in them dries quickly in a couple of hours. Of course, you will not get any planting material. And when we dig them into the soil, then the soil in the cup will not dry out. And in each cup I make holes 5 pieces, with a diameter of 5 millimeters. So that excess moisture quickly leaves the cups. In this way, in a few weeks, the daughter plants will take root, I will cut them off from the main plant and, accordingly, the planting material will already be in separate cups. It will be convenient to carry them and plant them on a new bed, the roots will not be damaged and new seedlings will not experience stress during transplantation. Therefore, if you want to get large yields of strawberries, then properly care for it, feed and propagate. To whom the information was useful put like. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. So as not to miss the output video. I wish you a good day. See you in new videos.